Hi guys. We are actually from the future. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> we're from the past. No, we're we're from before. What? After. <laughs> We've already filmed the events. <laughs> That's what I meant. <laughs> We've already filmed the events of this video. But at the end, <laughs> we had a confidence wobble, and Dan wondered if we should redo it's it. It's like that moment from Batman v Superman where Flash comes back to warn Bruce Wayne. <laughs> that things might not go so well. At some point in this video, That's what we're doing. we feel the tone went down at some point. <laughs> oh <God>. So, <laughs> just be aware. Oh. Enjoy. Farewell. Don't farewell because it's the start of the video. Enjoy. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Claudia and Dan. We're back. So we've got a um a tag video today. It's sort of a tag I created, but it came from another tag, but I changed some of the questions. So this tag is, do you know, I didn't actually write the name of the tag down. It's that, you know that meme that says, why would you say something so brave and yet so controversial? I don't know that tag. Have you not seen the meme? No. I'm going to put it on the screen and then you can see it as well. Put the meme on the screen. Also, welcome today to the elf that lives in our house, Denelfi. He'll be with us for the entirety of the video. I don't think he'll contribute much, but anyway. So basically, Dan hasn't, doesn't know any of these questions, so I'm Dan doesn't know what's going on. But Dan being a controversial As person... As Dan never does. Yeah, Dan being a controversial person... I, I wouldn't say I was a controversial person. I think you've got some controversial opinions. Okay. I, I, I think I've structured this to be an ask tag that you'll like. Okay. I think you'll enjoy this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so, question number one. Are we going straight in with it? Yeah, we're going All to right, okay. okay, so, and also, um, I'd love for you guys to answer these questions in the comments. There's a load of questions, but if you want to, then, you know, let us know. We'll interact. It'll be fun. Okay, so. It'll be fun. Number one. What is a popular film casting that you hate? A popular film casting that I hate? Yeah. From what? Like a recent film? It or? can be from anything. From, oh, okay. Um, it's one that I don't like, not that I hate, is Cumberbatch is Doctor Strange. I was thinking that one for mine. I don't hate it. I'm not... I'm not going into Infinity War thinking, oh, I'm gonna, oh, I hate it. I can't, can't watch this film anymore. But it's not what you would have chosen. No, I would have chosen Pedro Pascal, by the way. I don't, one that I hate. Uh, Much of this has been cut. If you're catching up just now, a very small amount of time will have gone by for you. For us, a large amount of time. It's been about what? five days. <laughs> While you wonder, it's been um, seven weeks. I don't know. All right, we'll let's, leave it as, yeah, as coming back to Stranger. Yeah. What do you, I'll tell you one. That people hate that I don't hate. Uh, that's another question. So, oh. that's, uh... <laughs> I'm ahead of the game. <laughs> yeah, you are. Tell <laughs> us in the comments what is a popular film casting that you hate. Please don't be nasty about individual actors. That's not good on this channel. But just a casting you think doesn't fit. But no nastiness to actors, please. Um, yeah, for me, I was going to say the exact same thing as Dan. Even though I've not seen Doctor Strange. Yeah, so that's why I don't think you're allowed to. But I have. But I have seen him in Thor. Yeah, so I have seen, seen about him as Doctor Strange. Two minutes of Doctor and just, Strange. For me, I feel like Benedict Cumberbatch. I appreciate what you're saying, but we all know it's based on. I just think he's overcast for stuff sometimes. Rocky soil. Be cast <laughs> Rocky soil. But I admit nice. I haven't seen Doctor Strange, so okay. Right, so number two, an unpopular film casting that you love. Alden. Angel is uh, what is? No, that's Angle Engel. Angle. <laughs> That's the baby driver guy. People. No, Alden Iron, Iron, Iron Reich, Iron Reich. I mean, I would say look it up, but then it won't tell us how to pronounce. Yes, it will. Actually, quickly. Right. What's, go on, what's like, his name? YouTube. YouTube. No, I'll just do Google. Right. So, what's his name? Fun being able right, to is pronounce. This, is this that. the Han Solo guy? Yeah. Alden Ehenreich. Ehenreich. Alden Ehenreich. Yeah. I I still think we should hear it pronounced. See, I've got it right. <laughs> Alden Ehenreich. Pronunciation. There we go. Right, he comes up. As a... Oh, here we go. Look. Are you? No, it, it literally says um, how to pronounce. It's loading. Alden Ehrenreich. Alden Ehrenreich. Alden Ehrenreich. Alden Ehrenreich. Why doesn't your phone work? It does work. You just have to be. A popular casting. No, an unpopular casting that I'm fine with is. Alden Ehrenreich. As Han Solo. Although that's also Rocky because you haven't seen that film. You've only seen the trailer. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> That's but you the, might but be the people really that but no, no no but you know, it does work because the people that hate the casting choice have also not seen the film. Uh, fair enough. Yeah. Okay. Do you feel what I say? We were discussing this the other day, just based on seeing the trailer, and I was saying that I di it's not that I dis I, I don't really hate the casting. I just don't necessarily think it was the right casting. 
And I think you're wrong. You had a theory about this. My theory is, my outlook is, that it, it doesn't matter that he's not exactly like a younger Harrison Ford. Because I would much rather see a slightly just new interpretation of a famous character rather than someone just doing a complete Harrison Ford impression. I can kind of see that point of view as well. And it is a different top, different part of, of Han's life. Mm -hmm. Like, he is younger. Just, I don't know, I just really, I'm really looking forward to it. That's good. What we're all most looking forward to is Lando, really. Yeah, Donald Glover as Lando would be. Yeah. I still think the film should have been Lando based. Yeah, probably. And yeah. Han should have been like this dodgy side sort character of, yeah. that you love, but he was the dodgy side well, character. Well, he has to be dodgy actually, doesn't he? Yeah. That's why it'd be so funny if it was Lando. Oh, that's, that's another issue I might have with the film. If they make him too heroic in the film, oh, no, I it would cheapen be... his he needs heroics to be, like, in a new home. He needs to be grey as hell. Like, yeah, I want him to, yeah. He needs to I want betray, him to betray the other main character. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. I'll tell you one that I don't like as well. Go on. Um, I've forgotten his name. The this is the other one I tried <laughs> to say. The other one with the difficult name. Ang Angel. I thought his name was, but it's not Angel, is it? Right, I'm going to look. Oh, and I've got another one as well. All right. For a similar reason. Now, just wait a moment. Engelbert Humperdinck. Angel Eisenman? <laughs> Angel Eisenman! <laughs> no, that's not it. Angel Eisenman. That is someone. Angel. Who's Angel Eisenman? Angel Eisenman. Angel Eisenman. Just this woman. It's not what I expected. No, not, not really. I don't think she's famous either, poor woman. <laughs> poor Angel She's Eisenman. become a part of this now. She's been dragged into this. What would Baby Driver Dude? Baby Driver Dude. An Ansel Elgort. That's right, Ansel Elgort. Ansel Elgort. Right. In Baby Driver. Right, I've got many issues with the film Baby Driver. One of them being the main casting of the protagonist because he was so dull. So, so dull. Out of my way. Who is the other one? For a similar reason. Ty Sheridan As... in Ready Player One. Right. Now I've not seen Ready Player One. So another rocky one. Yeah, but it's 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 genuinely just something that's putting me off seeing the film. If the protagonist is not someone that I'm thinking, oh yeah, they're gonna, I'm happily going in watching them every single scene because they're gonna be engaging and charismatic, and I'm interested in what they're doing because it's I've not seen them do something like this before. Ty Sheridan in Ready Player One just seems like another whatever his name is in Baby Driver. These are two films that would have benefited greatly from just not having these two guys in the lead. But is your issue with these actors or is it the like the perspective just being a perspective we've seen before as a character? Yeah, a perspective we've seen before as a character. So basically you think these films would benefit from something a bit different, a bit more diverse? Not for the sake of diversity, but just for the fact that these are perspectives that you've seen a hundred times before and you kind of know yeah, where it's going. Exactly. There's nothing new to offer. Exactly. Right, so I, I've just thought about a film casting. Right, this, these these two go together. These are, okay, so are popular and unpopular one I found. Now again, it's from a film I've not seen. Now obviously there's been a great controversy recently. We're not going to get into this in the video, but The Crimes of Grindelwald. Yeah. Aside from everything about Johnny Depp, I just put that aside for one moment, he is terrible casting for Grindelwald. Yeah. Even if there was nothing else, have you seen, like, him and Jude Law in that trailer, rubbish. Are you and telling Jude me? Law. Yeah, but are you telling me that Jude Law, well, right? You don't, you don't like Jude Law? No, no, it's not Jude Law, which is the problem. It's that Jude Law is, is, is going to be a great Dumbledore, but it's not his fault that they've decided to not give him red hair that's long and everything, like in the books. Mm. Like, I'm sure his acting will be great, but just looking at those characters, this sounds so incredibly awful and shallow, but... Is that Dumbledore? <laughs> I saw a post about this really going to be thirsting after that Grindelwald. <laughs> that Grindelwald. Dumble thick. <laughs> <laughs> Discuss. Just from that I point think, of view. I think, and quite understandably, mm. too. Yeah. But I think that a lot of the negative attitudes towards said casting yeah. are recent, recent rumblings to do with whatever Johnny Depp's personal life is. Yeah. I think if... Uh, Johnny Depp had been cast as Grindelwald straight out of, let's say he'd just done the second part of the Caribbean film, and then you find out, oh yeah, Johnny Depp's been cast as Grindelwald. I think that it would have been a, people would have been more, yeah. So you mean that this thing that's happened has clouded our judgement of him as Grindelwald? I think so. I think ever so slightly. Yeah, so almost subconsciously. It's sort well. of, yeah. Almost it's definitely put a, a dampener on the situation. <laughs> it's kind of dragged the film down into A hell. tiny bit, yeah. <laughs> <Doesn't it? laughs>
Yeah. Like, I, I just don't get why they didn't recast. In the first Fantastic Beasts films, they had someone else playing Grindelwald who was actually Grindelwald in disguise. Like, wasn't it Co- Colin Farrell or something? Oh, Colin Farrell, yeah. He would have been, been great. Yeah, I don't <laughs> know why you... Been yeah, been why been... don't you keep Colin Farrell? Yeah. Oh. They could have just been like, but actually, he was Grindelwald all along. Yeah. He wasn't in disguise. What's the point of him being in disguise? Yeah. <laughs> he would have... And also, he, he also... I can believe that Jude Law's Dumbledore would, would really, you know, be into that. Yeah. Okay, so anyway... Mind um, you, they're not doing that in the film, are they? Oh my god, yeah. Can you believe this? Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> Hollywood. Wait, so we're not getting into the Dumbledore thing here, but how hilarious is it that, like, Dumbledore. In this. I can understand, right? I can, all, I can understand in the Harry Potter films, the usual ones, them being like, okay, Dumbledore's sexuality is not that important. Agreed. Yeah. It's not really. Like, yeah, they could have they, they could have done better representation, representation in those films, but yeah, I totally agree. But when the film is literally sort of about Dumbledore and Grindelwald. Yeah, it's a bit, <laughs> bit silly. There's no real way around that. Yeah. It's like doing. How do you um, explain not doing you're this? You're doing plot? a Shakespearean saga and you're doing Romeo and Juliet, but we they're don't just, need to talk just friends, about yeah. the Why fact is their that relationship important? It's just not important here. Like, maybe will this happen because... <laughs> yeah, it's just not something that's important to our play, the relationship between Romeo and Juliet. Along those lines, I'm yeah. still kind of annoyed that Last Jedi didn't go for any thin poke. No, I haven't seen this yet. We're going to watch this together, aren't we? Yeah, I've, I've seen it. Is someone. it true that they've killed it dead, Finn Poe, in, in The Last Jedi? They killed it... I wouldn't say they killed it dead. Right. I'd say the chemistry between those two characters still sort of burst through any plot points they want to write. So there is... There's a like a little... Yeah. Yeah, they try and... They distract um, Finn with someone. I mean, this is and Rose, they try and, lovely uh, Rose. <laughs> yeah. Apparently people really like Rose. Rose. I like Rose. Rose is alright, yeah. But she's not as Finn's love interest. Could, Rose is she fine. Could have, she could have been introduced in a better film. You're angry about the Kylo Ren thing. Well. <laughs> I'm angry, angry about everything. I kind of don't film. want to waste your anger oh. in this video, though, because I feel like... The minute, the minute I here. saw Luke Skywalker milking that... <laughs> And drinking from it, I knew we were in for a rocky ride. <laughs> oh, I look forward to that so much. <laughs> I really do. Oh. Now, isn't it true that Mark Hamill doesn't seem to like the film very much? Mark Hamill definitely is. Well, I think Mark Hamill has a respect for Rian Johnson and uh, sort of Lucasfilm, but he he's openly said he hate, he changed things. <laughs> well, that plot point about. You know how it turns out that Kylo Ren's kind of like weird because Luke used to like go in his room and like with a lot of right, yeah. And Mark Hamill well, was It wasn't like, a regular no. occurrence. He wasn't always going in his room and just <laughs> that is like, No, but didn't Mark yeah, Hamill for, say Well just That's not my Yeah, I don't want to spoil the film for anyone, but Poor old Ben Solo deserves better. Yeah, but you know Let's... you're gonna get dried for saying this. Have you seen? Can I just? No, it's it's perfect for this video actually, because um, right. So there's this trend on Tumblr right now, like your fave is problematic, but for characters. Yeah. Now one of the funniest things I've seen recently is um, I'm part of an Emmerdale fandom, and soap is actually becoming bigger on Tumblr. Yeah, it's nerdy, but what the hell? (laughs) Literally, right? You know, like, (laughs) you know that your fave is problematic thing, where people are like, you can't like this character because such and such. Yeah. There's literally ones for soap characters now. Oh really? And it's like I don't get name, I don't get it. Name one soap character. Like people it's like soap. <laughs> They're all killing each other. Yeah, I, don't, look, it's, like, I saw a point? post the other day saying, um, if you like Loki, you're problematic and it, it was deep. Now this was a serious post. I thought it was satire. So at first I was like, Oh, this is hilarious. Yeah. And then it was really serious. And then there was one about Hella and... Like, yeah, Hella is like a... We watched Ragnarok last night. Brilliant film. Amazing. But And obviously, yeah, her story is sort of about colonialism and, like, the evils of that. Yeah. But <laughs> it was really bad. There's stuff on Tumblr, like, don't put Hella on my dashboard. It's just so dumb. Yeah, what? <laughs> They're fictional characters. Calm down. And it's weird, because it's like... I totally understand if these people were in real life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hasn't it got so out of hand? Like, literally, I've seen stuff like, Ky- what is it, Raylo shippers? Now, look, I'm not a Raylo shipper here, but they get Wait so dragged. Wait till you dragged. see The Last Jedi. They get dragged That's on all Tumblr. That's I'm gonna say. I've seen, like, there is literally this bullying campaign against Raylos on Tumblr, and it's ridiculous, and you need to see it to I think it. I'm going to start a bullying campaign against bullying campaigns. It's the same with, um... 
<laughs> well, Game of Thrones is bad as well, though, isn't it? Because oh, my two favourite characters God. are Theon Greyjoy and Jamie Lannister. Well, mine is one of my favourite characters is Cersei Lannister, so. Which I personally don't even understand, but yeah, that's <laughs> that's another yeah. You're just twisted. <laughs> <laughs> but like, isn't the whole point of Game of Thrones that you're looking at a world, an imperfect world full of morally grey characters who are forced to be morally grey because of the imperfect world they're in? Exactly, yeah. I don't know. People no one is good. No one is good or and bad. Like that's silly. No, but like it's so funny. Like the Loki stuff just got me because Loki is literally meant to be enjoyed. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. if he was real, that's like, like out saying... there killing people, obviously. Yeah. But then again, if you're going to do that for real, then sh technically we'd all hate Captain America, because I'm sure, That's he's, what I was about to I'm say, sure yeah. he's killed a few people. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> what, you oh like Richard Towery have rights, and the Avengers killed them all. Like, even... And this is coming from, like, before anyone ah. says anything, like, we are proper, like, social justice, anti-racist, but, well, <laughs> yeah. but when it gets to fictional, but when it gets to fictional things, it's gone. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Even Anakin Skywalker. Anakin Come is on. like... Uh, see this. Well, well. This, this, <laughs> <laughs> up until he killed the children. See, this is something I want to say as well. I was going to make a separate video for this, but this actually, is why, Anakin just acted on his emotion at least. But this is why I think it's different in fiction. <coughs> like, yeah, in real life, these people would be like evil, but so would most people in fiction. But isn't it? Personally, I like to see in fiction that a villain can be redeemed. In life, maybe it's not possible, but it warms my heart like to see that, for example, when Darth Vader dies, there is good in everyone. There is the capacity yeah. for good in everyone. And yeah. no matter what you've done, you can do good. There is all, no you one can, is born evil, born good. You can rectify good. the wrongs, yeah. I mean, obviously in real life, <laughs> we're no we're different. Yeah. But this is what I'm saying about fiction. Like, it's, fiction's supposed to make people feel better, isn't it? And make people want to be better. Exactly. And make people think that the power of love trumps everything. And that's, that's beautiful. Power of anyway, we, we so went off. This must have gone on for ages. This the will power of love. Up. Okay, so, um. Power of love is a curious bird. Ask me what question we're on now. What question are we on now? Number three. Wow. <laughs> okay, a controversial Doctor Who opinion. A controversial Doctor Who opinion? Yeah. Uh. Well, I don't. What's controversial? I, I just have opinions. I don't care what. No, no, that, no, I, I know, but like, as in other people, that's the point of this thing. Uh, <laughs> that other people might think. Because I, I hate, like, the whole mentality that if you're part of a fan or more you're part of a something, like, you all have to agree to the same thing, and this is good, and this is bad, and it's like, no. Yeah. Um, that annoys me. I would say something like the entirety of series 11, no, series 7 to 10 of Doctor Who were completely irrelevant, but then I don't even think that's a controversial no, opinion. Back in the I day, think that's just a, a... We were saying this back in the day. Now, come on, we were, I was an original Moffat hater. I need to specify here, I don't hate Stephen Moffat, but you know, like, when you don't like Stephen Moffat, it's regarded as Moffat hate. I was what? on this a long time ago, and I was in the minority, and suddenly everyone's woken up. Yeah, and now I just think it's, it's not a, even a general unpopular. sort of opinion to it's sort of... It's not even unpopular oh, yeah. anymore to say that. Uh, only because you can't really deny that Doctor Who has completely been driven into a, a ditch. You know, more like a swamp. <laughs> and you've got Jodie Whittaker and Chris Chibnall with a big rope. They're trying to pull it back out again. <laughs> and that's... <laughs> it's like, it's left them with a lot to do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, Necessarily. it's the same as uh, the same situation Star Wars is in now. Yeah. What's J.J. Abrams supposed to do with Star Wars now? He needs to get that rope. He, yeah, but there's nothing he can do. He's got to do one more film to complete a trilogy that has gone nowhere <laughs> and done nothing. <laughs> oh, so angry at everything. Apart from Marvel. Well done. Something you would like to say. I was going to say, something you would like to say if it was not controversial. But like you said, like... You and I will just say it anyway. Yeah. But this is something that pisses me off, like, nowadays, and I wanted to talk about this. Nothing pisses me off more than when racist people and people who are just pieces of shit, basically, they think that they're so brave <laughs> for being racist. Yeah. No one else will say it, but I will. I'll say it. Yeah. And it's like, the reason I'm other people aren't say saying it. it is because it's... A really dickish yeah, thing to yeah, say. Yeah. A controversial yet brave food opinion. Pizza's not that nice. I've had arguments with friends over this. I don't care about pizza. I'm not passionate about pizza and... My pizza and opinion... And that's alright. My pizza opinion is pineapple should not be on a pizza. I know this is a long running argument, but there, there's no place for pineapple on a pizza. My stance on that is... Don't put anything on a pizza, because pizza's not that nice. A controversial Game of Thrones opinion. Theon Greyjoy's the best character in Game of Thrones. 
Uh, what are you going to do? My controversial you come and fight me? Game of Thrones yeah. opinion <laughs> is that. Yeah. Um, let me think. What's my controversial Game of Thrones opinion? Um, Your controversial Game of Thrones opinion is that oh, I like Cersei Lannister. <laughs> I say I <laughs> and like I can justify Cersei. that. No, I can't justify it. She's a terrible person. She does awful things. But I kind of feel sorry for her, and I I just enjoy watching her. And I find her really fascinating. A show everyone loves, but you hate. Everyone loves, but I hate. I oh, know one for you. What? <laughs> Downton Abbey. Downton Abbey. Look. He I'm hates it. Stunned. He really hates it. No, no, no. I hated it in a fun way. Where if it was on, I'd watch it. <laughs> you just mock it relentlessly. Like I'm... <laughs> yeah, but that is what I liked about it. I didn't, I didn't mind that. No, At didn't. the end of every episode, you'd point out the terrible truth, even though I love it, that nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> okay. My Snapchat story during Downton Abbey was very, very obscene against I Carson for some reason. I didn't have... It was just constant abuse thrown See, I Carson. love Carson. It was Mr. I also Mr. Liked Bates. Carson. It was Mr. Bates for me, which was a bit... No, I, ne I never creepy. hated Mr. Bates as much as everyone else. <laughs> There's a controversial opinion for you. Our family hated Mr. Mr. Bates. Bates. I didn't mind him. <laughs> why did we? You all thought he was dodgy, he but I think he was all right. And also, I love Thomas Barrow, and like my family at first thought I was ridiculous for loving Thomas Barrow, and then he got really likable, and then everyone was like, "Oh yeah, Thomas," and I was like, "Yeah, I told you." I jokingly said. Um, Oh, Matthew's gonna crash his car. About <gasps> Moments before 30, yeah. he did! <laughs> yeah, I remember that. That's the sort of watcher Dan is. He puts yeah, I sort of sat there and oh, he's gonna die. <laughs> yeah, and then he died. I know, it was a bit like, oh. Yeah. Christmas Day they did that. It was... Okay, the so best day for it. What about a show everyone hates that you love? Like a show that's had bad reviews but you think is really good? Agents of Shield. Oh, that was weird, wasn't it? As a little thinking tune, I just <laughs> unintentionally started humming the Agents of Shield theme tune. Um, I'd say Agents of Shield, yeah, I'd, because I don't say everyone hates it, but it's not as liked as it should be. It's actually, it's got, it's got really good. I think like season three. Oh, I got a text. How popular I am. Um, season three and four sort of dipped a bit. No, season three dipped a bit, but generally they've sort of, they just they just reinvent the show a lot, and it's really good now. It's very, very good. I think it's coming to an end, but still, it's good. For me, a show everyone hates, but I love. I'm just thinking of shows I love. Like, I'm not saying people hate the soaps, but I am, like, obsessed with British soaps. Emmerdale, Coronation Street, EastEnders, and most people think that's odd. But I love them. Okay, so oh, they love them. what movie or TV show disappointed you? What movie or TV show disappointed me? Um, well, let's not go for Doctor Who. Like, okay, between, that's a given. We've done that. <laughs> Obviously, everyone knows that Series 4 of Sherlock was just... <laughs> yeah. Um, bad. The Flash. The Flash disappointed you? Mm. Right, in what way did The Flash disappoint you? Because I thought you loved that. I've, I've actually, I'm so behind on The Flash, but in a way that I don't actually care at the moment. Oh, man. That was your favourite show as well. They must have done something bad. Yeah, it? it just, I don't know. I might catch up on The Flash and think, oh, actually, I was wrong to say that in that video that one time. But still, um, Justice League, Star Wars. I've just thought of one that will be my answer and I think might be similar to yours. Suicide Squad. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> And it had the potential to be really good, didn't it? How excited were we? Oh. And it's just a bad, bad film. Okay. About a year before Suicide Squad came out, I was buying the comics. I was I was doing all this. I was Joker T-shirt. Yeah, I was I was well into the. I was well on board the um. The hype train. The hype. Suicide Squad train mm. and especially after that first trailer came out there was like a trailer from Comic-Con and it was set to I started a joke by the Bee Gees that was great yeah but it was and it was like a slower sort of like orchestral version and it was excellent and that was the tone the film should have had even the trailer with um, Queen playing in it was excellent we saw in like, the cinema, like Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn 
Will Smith as Deadshot. Perfect. Casting. Yeah. Even Jai Courtney as Captain Boomerang. Cool. Let's go with it. Jared Leto was the Joker. I don't care. Just give him something to do. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't yeah, care. I don't, yeah. I don't even care. It should have been Willem Dafoe as the Joker. Pointing that out. Um, they was that no, Jared Leto as the Joker did come across as slightly more <laughs> creepy than than charismatic weird. <laughs> didn't Char- he? Like, yeah. Beef. He, should, he should have been a bit <laughs> cooler. I think. What's yeah. That beef thing he says. You don't want no beef. Yeah. It's <laughs> you a don't little want bit. No beef. Yeah. Like the thing with the Joker is like. He's enjoyable to watch. Like you're not supposed to look at him every time and be a bit like cringing. Like yeah. what a nerd. You've got him, yeah, and if you're gonna make what him young like that, make him yeah. Gary Monaghan should have <laughs> should have just cast him. Yeah. Or Mark Hamill could have just done it. Yeah. Perfect. But there we go. Um, yeah, but I, I I finished watching that film and I actually turned to the person I was with and I just I literally just went. Oh, I've got I've got no more to say about Suicide Squad. They should have adapted Assault on Arkham, if you know what that is. It's like an animated film. A DC animated film. Well, that we watched the entirety of that, didn't we? Yeah. And it was be- literally better than the whole Suicide excellent. Squad film. Excellent, yeah. I would have preferred to just see that in the cinema. But there we go. A musician everyone hates, but you love. Again, not personally, as in their music, obviously. No hate um, towards musician. the person who's putting music out there. A musician that everybody hates, but I love. Do you know what? Well, I don't love them, but remember everyone hated James Blunt for some weird reason. Yeah. I didn't I didn't understand that. I don't love him, but I didn't understand why everyone hated him. People have um, sort of really like him now. They've realised he's bloody hilarious on Twitter. He's a very, very funny man. He takes the piss out of himself and everyone else. That's so Anyone that tries to criticise him, he will just roast, and it's so funny. No, but who do... Uh, I don't know. I don't know, really. I like him... Um, I like, like, the Bee Gees. But, but I don't think people hate the Bee Gees, do they? ABBA. I don't like ABBA. I love ABBA, and people laugh at ABBA, but I think ABBA's great, and I love Eurovision music. And you know what I've had in my head for ages? I don't know the name of the song, but there was this one Eurovision song that was like, How looks the trumpet? <laughs> do you remember that? Yeah, how, how looks, looks the trumpet? The trumpet? Yeah. The age-old question. Who do I like? Everyone hate. Who do we, Who does people hate? Oh, I know. No, this is more for like. This is someone you hate that everyone loves. Wait. Wait, that is the question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, good. Coldplay, as in more recent Coldplay. And the No, I thought you said the question was. Oh wait, is it who you love? People. Oh right, You okay. love that everyone else hates. Oh right, okay. Yeah, then. we'll get to that in a minute. Oh right. I'm ready. Thing is about people these days, they don't really. Think things, do they? A musician everyone loves, but you hate. Right. Discuss. Okay, okay, okay. Right. Maroon Five. Wait, the Chainsmokers, Ed Sheeran, recent Coldplay. The recent also goes for Maroon Five. Their early stuff was yeah. Wait. Um. Maybe this question should be more like overrated, in our opinion. Adele. EDM. This uh, well, EDM is a, is a genre. Yeah. That that became so popular in about twenty. 13 that all all I'm I'm an old teeny bopper it's all they wanted to listen to right EDM and dubstep was partly to blame keep talking to this camera I really need the loo right and dubstep was partly to blame actually I'm just gonna wait for Claudia to get back I've waited for you to get back I remember a time probably about three years ago the 1975 sort of became really popular and they had that and they had the song Chocolate and and it was really popular and everyone loved it and I was sort of I sort of heard it and I was thinking oh oh, oh, why are they singing in such silly voices oh it's like silly however now I absolutely adore the 1975 and it's because of the dire music situation the 1975 are actually releasing very good in the alternative music. You feel like they had to step into that void. They had to become heroes and step into that void. Because yeah. no one else was. Yeah. And I didn't appreciate them enough at the time. Because the music situation then was not as bad as it is now. But a lot of the music that's in the charts right now sounds the same to me. It's all the same. It's that sort of dance music. But it's very similar. You can... I could... Yeah. You can hear the first two... No, you can hear like the first few... Bars. He's shaking Danelphy by the <laughs> legs in rage. You can hear the first few bars of a song in the charts now, and you can literally hum 
the entire rest of the song. Because you know it's going to be unpredictable. Yeah. All I want is a singer, some proper instruments, and a melody. Just unique vision. Yeah. Someone who like, has vision. A style and yeah. vision and like exactly. puts that out there. Yeah. Even if I don't like their style or vision, I respect that they have their own style and their own vision. It's their own thing. Yeah. And that way everyone finds something they enjoy, instead of everyone just having to part with the same boring stuff. Yeah. The amount of people I've met in the last year that have deeply concerned me because they said they don't know who the Arctic Monkeys are, or they've never heard of the Arctic Monkeys. I feel like ever since you got into the Arctic Monkeys, you've turned... It's like, in a way, it's like you want to be slightly normal. Definitely an aggressive cult. Well, what is an aggressive cult? What? <laughs> I totally missed that. What? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Liking the Arctic Monkeys, if anyone that doesn't like the Arctic Monkeys, yeah. not in our good books. You you even like, you you took a Snapchat photo of yourself and put some, you and mum and put me ma'am on it. Me ma'am. Me ma'am. Yeah. Which I appreciate, as like an Emmerdale fan. Where are the Arctic Monkeys from? Are they from like, uh, Sheffield. Oh, Sheffield. So it is up north, like properly up north. Yeah. A lot of really good bands are from the north, actually. Some of the best, I would argue, like the Oasis, indie bands. Yeah. Some of the best bands are from Blossoms, north. yeah. What's up with us down south? Everything. Okay, so these are the last two. This turned into a really sort of dampener of a video, didn't it? No, it's It really to be. lost its mojo it's and it just turned to into two old people <laughs> grumbling <laughs> about life. <laughs> what is it? Uh, do you know video? what else I hate? <laughs> <laughs> Something everyone loves but I hate. <laughs> and it needs to be said. <laughs> Star Wars is shit. <laughs> Suicide Squad was shit. <laughs> Music is dead. Music is dead. Okay, right. We've got two more. Do you have Walder Frey? Oh, Walder Frey. Imagine if Walder Frey did a video. I about think we this, should. Yeah. Controversial opinion. I think we Walder should Frey. get David Bradley as Walder Frey to cameo in these videos. Okay, two questions to go, and then we're finally at the end of this long video, which I'm sure you're all like desperate to get to the end of. <laughs> do you ever watch a YouTube video and like you're in it and you kind of want to click off it? But you watch for so long that you feel like if you don't get to the end, you let yourself when down. You, when, you, when you left, I tried. <laughs> I tried to just continue to talk, but I just yeah. gave up eventually. Why? Oh, I don't know. Doesn't it feel weird doing a YouTube video on your own? Yeah. I just got footage at home of me doing YouTube videos where I just stop talking. Yeah, I just stop talking. And then it's just footage of me like looking into the distance for a while. <laughs> And I can see myself thinking of the next yeah. thing to say in my eyes. Oh, okay, dear. right, two more to go. Hang in there if you've watched this long. Okay. Something you think <laughs> people make a big deal of, in terms like that they don't need to. What's something that people make a big deal of that they don't need to? Can I just say, like, before oh, anyone tries, like, I, I kind of created... <laughs> before anyone tries. I kind of created this tag. And I don't <laughs> want, I don't want any, like, nasty bigot getting this and then like, getting that and going, yeah. sexism. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, racism. It's not that bad. Yeah, chill it. out. Yeah. They're not that sort of crazy. Let me say what I want to say. But yeah, what do you think people make a big deal of, which perhaps they don't need to make a big deal of? Michael B. Jordan as Johnny Storm. <laughs> that was actually really good casting, though, wasn't it? Yeah, but it was the best thing about the film. <laughs> Talking about that as well. There's a new adaptation of like um, the Iliad, Troy, Fall of a City, which I'm watching, and it's not the best show in the world. And basically, they cast Achilles, who is a, a fictional like hero, like he's half god, half human. Yeah. And they cast him as a black dude. Okay. And people had a problem with it. Yeah. Even though he was fictional, myth mythological person. And it just like... But they also say, I'm not racist. Yeah. And it's like, how do you even argue you're not racist at the point where they're mythological and fictional? It's the same thing about the 13th Doctor though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. There is, there is absolutely no justification by saying, I'm not sexist, but I don't think ju the doctor should be a woman. Because that, you live. There's no. How can. The two things can't go together! <laughs> exactly! <laughs> they can't! It's like. Well, yeah, it's fair enough saying, oh, I don't want a woman doctor, then ask yourself why? <laughs> because she's a woman. Because she. Which is sexism! It's, uh, there's no. There's no reason. I think the funny, uh, the funny one is when people say they're okay. They they don't mind. They're not homophobic, but they just don't like gay people in public. <laughs> it's like yeah. I like gay people in private. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> I like private gay people. Yeah. <laughs> I have a fondness for secret <laughs> private gay people. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, <laughs> but no, it's just oh. oh my god. Yeah. So ridiculous. It was funny. The last question, actually, there's two. Okay, so th this question is: What is something that you think people need to make more of a big deal of, which they currently don't? I, I think I, I've got something here, and it's like me calling myself out in a way, calling this whole video out. Go on then. I think that sometimes, like calling this whole video. <laughs> this whole video. <laughs> oh, yeah. I feel like sometimes <laughs> it's it's easy to be like negative about stuff. Yeah. It's easier to criticise, isn't it? Because, you know, and I think sometimes we need to make, there's nothing wrong with criticising, but we also need to make more of a big deal of the stuff we do love, we do love, and give it that support. The same energy should go into the stuff we love. I, it, are you saying that for us? No, no, like, I mean, we, oh. yeah, but just in terms of this video, is, it's quite negative, but we are actually quite <laughs> positive about a lot of stuff, but that's why we're in fandom. We're positive about like, loads of stuff, yeah. We love it, but yeah, it's just, yeah, it's, sometimes it can be easy to talk about the negative stuff, which is good. Yeah. But I think, you know, uplift the stuff you do like as well. Support creators you like, support musicians you like. That's what I would say. Oh my... And last of all... Oh wait, no, because is that your answer too? Something you think people may need to make more of a big deal of? No, it's not. People need to make more of a big deal. Of me. Of... <laughs> Yeah, probably me. Deja vu's. People need to make more of a big deal out of deja vu's. Yeah, I feel like we sort of let those go. <laughs> I've already yeah. experienced this. Hang on. <laughs> you said that exact thing and I knew it was coming. Oh, well. Oh, cool. Oh, well. Deja vu. <laughs> Space travel. Yeah. Probably make a big bit more of a deal out of that. This is like serious and political, but like homelessness. The royal wedding is going to cost like millions and millions of pounds. Yeah. And there are homeless people. So many homeless people in London. And I feel like people just... It's not right that there's 1% of the world's population with all the wealth. With the majority of the wealth. Mm. And the fact that people just like act like that's okay can't like... They literally think that's normal because they're born into that. <laughs> if you say, maybe there shouldn't be billionaires, people are like, oh, yeah. communist scum. Maybe 1% of the world shouldn't have all the wealth. Maybe. I think we should make more of a big deal to achieve. Oh, I just dropped the oh, rat's bottoms. We need to make more of a big deal as a society to a a achieve a Star Trek-like society. Mm. I think that's a great aim. Yeah. Why do we not? What are we even a Star heading Trek, towards? A Star Trek society where we love each other and it's diverse and we explore the world. And galaxy. it's about exploration. And it's science and learning and being friends with, you know? Exactly. It's a nice society. Exactly. That's where we should be going. Yes. Star Trek is the future. Also, they should, we should make more of a big deal out of um, inventing teleports. Black holes. We need to figure out what they're about. Yeah. We should send someone through a black hole. Ghosts. We need definitive... <laughs> need definitive answers about ghosts. About half the population genuinely believes there are ghosts and think they've seen ghosts. Half the population doesn't believe in it. I feel like we should spend more time, you know... Yeah. ...examining that. It's turned into such a weird video. <laughs> didn't it? It's all oh, a weird dystopian version of our usual vlogs. Black Mirror. Black Mirror. <laughs> Imagine a Black Mirror, um episode that was like an entirely YouTube based and it was shown as if it was YouTube videos like the whole episode was like recorded YouTube videos yeah but while cool. stuff was happening there was yeah well I think that was kind of it I mean the last question was just gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be like it's not an exciting funky last question I was just gonna say <laughs> what is it is is being controversial good but basically what I meant by this question to discuss was just that thing we've spoken about before why some people think that there's a lot of, of boring people yeah. who think that instead of being funny and witty, they just be outrageous. And it's not even outrageous. funny. And people laugh, but they laugh out of shock and shame. They yeah. laugh out of, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> ooh, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> we need to, like, we can't leave it there. The tone's just going to so far back. <laughs> um, we need to add in something a bit more entertaining. Um, you're wearing Grandad's socks. I bought Grandad those socks. <laughs> well, they're mine now. They were put in my drawer. What did you think of Thor Ragnarok? Just before or something? we go. I really enjoyed Thor Ragnarok. Valkyrie I loved, Thor I loved, Hulk I loved. Banner I actually loved. Yeah. Even though I hated him in the other Avengers films. I just loved them all. Mm. Loki especially. I have a real soft spot for Loki. And people online need to calm down a little bit. 
with that, in my opinion. <laughs> I find Loki quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's the what people's stances on on Bucky then? Usually, Bucky no, does no, some no, terrible things. No, Bucky's brainwashed though, so it's a bit different. Bucky is generally quite like. Well, technically, Loki was being blackmailed to do the entire events of the first Avengers film. And there's there's um isn't there like debate about like you know like when he he's quite ill yeah he's got the chest out there's there's some conversation about how much it was how much of Thanos had um yeah but you know what even if Loki was like actively doing all the events of the first film I unashamedly still enjoy him yeah it, it doesn't matter I get excited when he comes back I like the fact he's a little shit you can't trust anything he says. He will betray you every time, mm. but he loves Thor, and Thor loves him, and we love them. Yeah. And they should have hugged in Ragnarok instead of that cutting away. No, because the idea that they were going to hug is more important than seeing the actual hug. <laughs> Bye. <Bye-bye>. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, a message to leave with: Have a nice day, live long and prosper, enjoy what you want to enjoy, 